Hello, this is Piet Levy, music writer with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, with your recap of St. Vincent at a sold-out Turner Hall Ballroom on April 4th, 2014. During her set slash performance art piece Friday, there was an odd moment where the eccentric artist born Annie Clark said, we're all going to die someday. It's definitely a downer statement for what was supposed to be a rock show, but after a pause, Clark smiled and screamed, but not tonight, not effing tonight. And in a way, that bit of banter touched on the mission statement of her music. Her music is alive, more alive than practically anything else out there, because it's so strange yet accessible and always unpredictable. Like the funky friskiness of Birth in Reverse, which featured St. Vincent and her guitar shuffling around like wind-up dolls under intense strobe lights Friday. Or Prince Johnny, a sort of arty Madonna ballad for hipsters, during which St. Vincent rolled down a three-tiered set piece, again under intense strobe lights, like a Tim Burton stop-motion creation of a David Lynch flick. And there was plenty of strange matching choreography, from head squeezing to slow-mo robots to bunny hops to invisible jump rope whips and invisible prize poodle parade. The consequence, of course, of such a highly scripted show is the lack of spontaneity. But it was still far more entertaining than St. Vincent's 2011 set at the Pap Cedar, which was peppered with multiple pauses and awkward banter. And the eclectic music provides the spontaneity. There were many modifications, too, of her recordings of the show, whether it was the skipping synths on Morrow, or St. Vincent's extensive guitar jam at the end of Surgeon, which jumped around from bluesy bumps to avant-garde squeals. And there was one song that was exclusive for the Milwaukee show, a cover of Nirvana's Lithium, no doubt intended as a tribute to Kurt Cobain, who died 20 years ago Saturday. Cobain, of course, was practically a league of his own in terms of his enduring impact on pop culture. But I also think that St. Vincent, given her distinct vision, her ever-growing confidence, eccentricity, ambition, and accomplishments, she'll be treasured for decades to come, and I think she'll be remembered long after she dies. But not tonight. Not effing tonight. You can read a review, find a set list, and listen to a playlist at tapmilwaukee.com, and you can find other concert listings, recommended restaurants, and other Milwaukee happenings on the Best of Brew City app, available at the iTunes and Google Play stores.